Right now at 5, he tortured and murdered a 12-year-old boy, and now he is paying for the crime. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. And I'm Jenna Coy. Erica is off tonight. We're talking about the killing of Devin Parsons, whose death shocked a community. And today we were there as a judge handed down punishment for one of the suspects. RTV6 reporter Drew Smith was in the courtroom and has new reaction from family members. Drew. Jenna, the courtroom was packed with family and friends of the little boy. His mother, Tasha Parsons, already in prison, serving a 60-year term for murder. Today, the judge sentenced her ex-boyfriend, Waldo Jones, to 60 years as well. Escorted by Decatur County Sheriff's deputies, a shackled Waldo Jones will serve a 60-year sentence for the brutal and heinous murder of Devin Parsons. The judge found primarily the nature of the circumstances of the case and the defendant's prior criminal history was those things alone would be sufficient for him to have been given the full 60 years in jail. The circumstances are disturbing. Jones and Parsons tortured the boy for 10 to 12 hours because they accused him of taking their illegal drugs. If he took them, I don't know. If he did, it was just to protect his family. Randy Parsons was Devin's great uncle. Yeah, I feel there's a better justice with 60 years than for no sentence at all. Everybody can hope for what they want, but at least they're not walking the streets. The grandmother of Devin Parsons did not feel a sense of justice after today's 60-year sentence for her grandson's killer. Do you think that justice was served today with the 60-year sentence? No, sir, I don't. What do you think should have been done? I think he should have been put, I think he should have got life without the possibility of parole. parole. However, in this case, Jones got the maximum sentence under a plea agreement with the state. He could get out in 30 years or sooner. That's up to the Department of Correction. It's the right result as far as what we've got to the extent that there's ever the right result in a murder case. Jeannie Welch would agree. For the grieving grandmother, each night is filled with sadness. I go to sleep every night thinking about Devin. I wake up every morning thinking about Devin. Now, the judge said one of the aggravating circumstances that led to the sentence is that Devin's two siblings were in the house when they killed him. Those siblings are now living with their great uncle Randy and his wife Jennifer. Jenna?